Okay, boys and girls and parents, we're going to make a what I call my Easter uh, salvation necklace, the cross necklace. Uh, you've seen these uh, pony beads and used for the salvation colors. The black represents our sin and how it's black. The red represents the blood of Christ washing our sins white as snow, the Bible says. The blue represents once we are saved, we follow Christ in believer's baptism. And the green represents growing in our faith as a new believer. The purple is symbolic of the royalty we have as a joint heir with Christ. And then the yellow, if I had a, a gold bead, it would be here. But a yellow represents the streets of gold that one day we'll walk on in heaven. So we're going to make that. It's not that hard and everyone turns out a little different. First of all, I, I suggest a piece of this jute about three feet long, and hopefully your ends are good. You're gonna take one of your, uh, the yellow bead, and you're gonna run it all the way down to the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna line these ends up. Hopefully they'll be the same. And just go down to the middle like that, it's easy. Now, this next part, we're gonna hold the two strings together, and we're gonna let the next bead go right over both strings at the same time. So we'll do the purple one. So I get those strings close together, and if you see what I'm doing, I'm running that bead down both strings this time so that when it goes down, it's just going to stop right there with this little buddy, the yellow bead. Then we're going to take the green and follow the purple bead right down there to its new little home. All right. And there she is. And then we're going to do the blue for baptism. Uh, we want to do believer's baptism. That means baptism once you are saved. It don't really do as much for you before you get saved, so there you go. Then we're going to take the white bead and take it. Again, you can see we're doing just the same as all these others. Then we're going to do something with the other beads. We're going to do two white beads over here and two white beads over there, and they're going to join up. So what we do, we take our string and we run both our beads in there. Get back here. All right, this little white one's a rebel. So we're gonna take both of our white beads in there. We're gonna run them down like this. Then we're gonna come back. It's very careful. We're gonna go, we're gonna skip this bead, okay? Leave him hanging. And we're gonna go inside this bead. See? and come back out. Now just, just stay with me. If they get a little tangled, you gotta run them back down. But boy, when you get it right, it's really cool. Get over here. All right, you see how I'm, I've still gotta kinda of run it down. I gotta get the slack down there. There. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this other side. It may look kind of funny right now. It'll all come together in a minute. So let's get one bead here. The next bead, go all the way down like that. You see, it's gonna make the cross in a minute. Now we're gonna go over that bead, but come inside this bead, okay? The exact same thing we did on the other side. So you see how we're doing that, right? We skipped that bead and went back through there and then we're gonna pull all the slack out. There, look at there. And see, I still gotta uh, scoot this little thing over a little bit. That's not a problem. Now that's close. Uh, I could probably get away with that. Um, so now I'm gonna go back with the two strings back together, okay? I'm going to find my red bead and try to get it down there. Now, these may have to be tightened up, and I think you'll see what I mean in a minute. There. There we go. See how that did? And then we're going to do the black bead. Okay. Now, look at there. Now, all that likes to be done is we're just going to tie this off if I can separate them. Well, sometimes it's easier said than done. All right. There. And they, they sometimes they want to 
kind of get a little goofy on you, just make him go down. But when you wear him on your shirt, see, when you wear him on your shirt, that's about what they're going to do. All right, I hope this works out for you. This is Marty saying God bless you. Hope to see you in the morning. Goodbye.